Guys, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, especially if you love MMA as much as I do. Um, I've seen recently where Khabib says he could have beat St. Pierre. Maybe it was the other way around, but I, I found that interesting. And if you notice that I'm producing a lot of videos this week, I'm currently on spring break. So that's why I'm able to produce more content. But that's a tough fight to predict, actually. You know, it's a really tough fight to break down because there's so much alike in terms of the grappling department. Now, I, well, here's the thing. I do believe Khabib was probably stronger than St. Pierre, and I do think he would have got the better out of the wrestling exchanges, but how much better? Do I, am, am I talking about where you have two guys that are evenly matched, and you might have a 3-to-1, 3-to-2 takedown ratio, maybe just 1-to-2 takedown ratio? Or, do you, or, or am I talking about where it's obvious where John Jones takes down Cormier four out of five times, and the one time went to Cormier in their first fight, and then Colby Covington taking down Masvidal five, six times in their fight, however many times it was. Um, I think it'd be about like, it'd be closer than Jones and Cormier, the takedown ratio in that fight. Cause remember almost 10 years ago when they fought the first time, Cormier did get a takedown in a fight, but Jones took him down four or five times. I think it'd be closer than that. I do think Habib would get him down once, maybe twice in the fight, just because St. Pierre is a great grappler himself, and he can take guys down also, and I'm pretty sure he can stay and can stop takedowns also. Here's the problem that I see with picking Habib. Habib's striking was decent. He did have a big punch, but he took he had problems taking damage from some of the better fighters. Connor did rock him at some point in their fight. Now I know Connor didn't have any business in there with him, honestly, because of the, the fighting style. And Gagey did rock him too. The same pair is a little smarter than that. He's not looking for one, just one punch. He can piece you up on the feet and make it hard for you to touch him and then mix up the wrestling. So for that reason, I would have to pick St. Pierre. I believe he would beat Habib. I believe he would be able to fend off the takedowns. He would keep his distance and force Habib to stand with him and just be patient and try to pick his chance at a takedown. St. Pierre would master that jab a lot, jab, 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 and move back and probably mix it up with head kicks to where he's not too predictable. Leg kicks, body kicks, and sometimes he would fake the kick just so he knows that Habib's going to go for that takedown. He might hit, counter it with a big knee or a big uppercut and just continue to piece up Habib on the feet. I don't think St. Pierre would get any takedowns against Habib. He probably wouldn't need to. And even if he was on his back, St. Pierre has used arm bars and other submissions before to beat people. So as far as who wins, method and all that, give me St. Pierre by unanimous decision. I believe his mix-up of his techniques would keep Habib guessing too much. And Habib, if he can't get his wrestling going, I don't think he'd beat someone like St. Pierre. He might get St. Pierre down once or twice. I doubt he would hold him there because St. Pierre was very tough. And the fight he had with Hendricks wasn't really about the wrestling. He just got beat up and punched in the face too many times. Habib's not really known for being a great striker like that. So if I had to pick... St. Pierre probably by unanimous decision. I think he wins 49-46. He's able to pull away with mixing up his grappling, his wrestling. He's able to keep himself at distance from Habib, keep him guessing. He'll use the jabs a lot. He'll mix up the jabs and be at middle distance. He won't be up face-to-face -face where Habib can grab him, but he'll probably mix it up with the leg kicks, jab, jab, fake a high kick, hit him with a big elbow or something to keep him guessing and just have him off his game plan for five rounds.